is tired, but try to make him go a little faster if you can. Very good, my lady. You ready, Cedric? Off you go. I hit fairly in the centre that time, Lancelot. No adversary could stand such a blow. Neither could you. You were sitting flat in your saddle. You'd have been knocked right off your horse. Truly? I promise you. You don't like to admit it, but I'm really quite good. You are. But the fact is, there's no room for quite good in this particular art. You've got to be very good indeed, or else you get killed. Now, we'll go again. And remember, this time, when you charge, lean well forward in the stirrups. Throw your whole weight behind the impact. My Lord Cedric. Robert, well, what brings you to Camelot? What news of my Lady Lorraine? She's here, my lord. Lancelot, I beg your leave. An important matter has come up. I understand. Brian, take your spear. Now, whatever you do, don't go and forget all I've told you. <laughs> Remember, it's most important about the weight. Good luck. Where is my lady? Take me to her. One moment, Lord. We are on the most serious errand. You'll find my lady somewhat upset. What's the matter? Her father has been seized and carried off. But Lord Trebizond is an old sick man. Who would do such a thing? A knight named Torwald surprised him with a group of armed men. And he's, he's holding him to ransom at a place called the Black Castle. Take me to Lady Lorraine. Very good, my lord. Robert has told me about your father. Oh, I had no one else to turn to, only you. We rode all night. You were right to come, and you mustn't be afraid. I will find your father. I think you can. Let me go with you. I must ask permission of King Arthur. Cedric, I agree that Lord Trevison must be rescued. And while I appreciate your enthusiasm, a one-man expedition is out of the question. But, sire... Look, you're still an apprentice. You haven't even won your spurs yet. You couldn't possibly stand a chance against an experienced fighter like Torvald. And yet, sire, I must go alone. Must? For certain reasons. Yes? Well, Lord Trebizond's only daughter and I will marry one day. She's ridden here to Camelot to ask my help, and... Well, I promised I would give it. And you will, Cedric, but not alone. But, sir... Now, I have nothing more to say. A young man certainly has a hard time to make his mark these days. When I think of the reckless things you did in my name... <laughs> but things were different then. Oh? Well, nobody cared if knights went on foolish missions in those days. Besides, I was lucky. No, my lord. You were young and in love. Yes, and I am. Young Cedric is in love, too. How can I possibly refuse you? I'll let him go. goes a brave young knight. Yes, with an attractive young lady. She's his betrothed. It's very romantic. Where are they going? To rescue her father. 
was being held captive by a knight named Told. Told? Of the yes. Black Castle? Yes. But that's impossible. Cedric's no match for him. I'm afraid it's my fault. I urged the king to let him go. We must do something. Well, I suppose I could follow him and see he keeps out of trouble. He wanted so terribly to go alone, to prove his love. If only you could manage somehow to, to help him without taking away any of his glory. That's a great deal more difficult than just fighting. Please, Lancelot. I'll do my best. you and I part company. Overtake Cedric and tell him that... tell him that King Arthur sent you to show him the shortcuts. But your real task will be to slow him up in any way you can. Why? So you can get to the Black Castle first and kill Tall? Ah, no. That would take all the glory away from Cedric. Oh, whatever I do, I mustn't kill Torvald. I'll have to get into the castle somehow, challenge him to fight, and then soften him up. Leave Cedric to finish him off. Suppose Torvald won't fight? You leave that to me. I'll provoke him until he does. But, Brian, what I really need is time. And that's where you come in. You tell Cedric you know all the shortcuts, but make sure he doesn't find them. I'll rely on Caledon to get me there first. Good luck. <laughs> Sir Cedric, King Arthur sent me to show you the way to the Black Castle. But I know the way. Sir, King Arthur sent me to show you the shortcuts. Oh, very well. As I remember the road, it was uh, distinctly this way. Oh, no, my lord. I know the road well, and it cuts through the stream by the ford. But there's no stream there. But there is, my lord. I don't believe it. If there is water, I'd like some to drink. It's been a long ride. I'll fill this water pipe and bring it back to you, my lady. All right, but be quick about it, boy. Uh, we'll wait here. <laughs> was to ask for salt. Oh, perhaps I can help you. What would a knight like you care about me? Who knows? Perhaps you can help me too. How many men at arms does Torvald have? Oh, I don't know. But he has a crossbowman named Magnus who can kill a deer at hundred paces. Mm. But if the truth were told, Torvald doesn't need men at arms. He himself fights like ten men. Oh, we shall see. Mr. 
It's a grim looking place. Everybody keeps his prisoners. Aye. They say there's someone there now. A, a Lord Trebizon, they say. Oh, we want to see your master. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> How do I announce you, Sir Knight? I'll go with you, save you the trouble. Did you ever see this strange knight before? No, but the peasant is one of your own. I don't like it. Where is the Welshman? Gone hunting. Well, I've no more hunting. His job is here. Say the word, my lord, and this strange knight will not leave here alive. I'll be ready in case I need you. Enter! Who is this knight? My name doesn't matter. I'm here on behalf of one of your peasants who asked for salt and was given a beating. You're bold, sir knight. Do you know who I am? I know who you are. But I'm here on a question of principle. Every lord is expected to provide salt for his peasants. Let the peasants submit a petition of grievance. I have no time for petitions. You have no time? What kind of interfering upstart are you? Do you insist on fighting? <laughs> it's fortunate for you that I'm in a good humor today. Come along. You're going to give the man his salt then? That's what you want, isn't it? It's skill we learn at Camelot. Skill and ease. That's quite good, Cedric. Ah, oh, there's no place for quite good in this particular art, Lorraine. A man must be very good indeed, or he'll be killed. Oh. Don't worry, though. If I cannot subdue him with sword, I shall try lance. Maybe both sword and lance. At once? Yes, it's a, it's a new type of strategy. I was uh, showing it to Lancelot just the other day. I wonder what's keeping that confounded boy. Uh, the Lancelot receives instruction from you, Cedric. Well, uh, um, he's willing to lend an ear to any new fighting tactics. And uh, why not? I listen to him. <clears throat> ah, here you are at last. You were right, my lord. What do you mean? There was no stream there after all. <laughs> to drop his crossbow. Look, come on. Drop the bow. Uh, neatly done, Sir Knight. But if you value your life, you'll leave this castle at once. Not just yet, Torwald. There's unfinished business between you and I. If it's satisfaction, you won't save your breath. I've no intention of fighting you. Suppose I demand satisfaction. You've been making a number of demands since you walked in here uninvited. You're spoiling for a fight, aren't you? I'll make you wish you'd never been born. The guard room adjoins my chamber. I shall arm at once and meet you there. Excuse me, farmer. See any riders in the forest? A knight? A lady and a young squire, sir. Did they look as if they were on their way here? Oh, I don't know. If you look now, you might see them.
Well done, Brian. You want to see me? Why, I needed you when you were late. Put on your armor. A man must eat. You can eat when you finish your work. That's what I pay you for. Get him into his armor ready for combat. Hmm. This will be a short fight. I'm hungry. Just as I thought. The very spot we left an hour ago. I can't understand it. Hmm. This time we'll go my way. If you kill him, there'll be an extra gold piece for you. On guard, Torwald. Killed the Welshman. You're not trying to kill him. Come on, fight. He saw you. He's coming in here. You'd better get out. But remember, we have to kill him now. So this is how you won your fame, eh? Are you all right, my friend? Yes, I'm all right. Get out. I want my money. I pay you for winning. Get out. Bought and paid for, eh? Torwald the Great, the man who lets others fight for him. Oh, why should I risk my life when I can buy oafs like that to do my fighting? Cedric, heaven be praised. Who is that? A young knight on an honorable mission. Mm. Another impulsive fighter like yourself. Eh? Yes. And this time it'll be a fair fight. Then we'll see how that fierce reputation of yours stands up. Guard, stop him! Stop him! Castle. 
An intruder is at your gates. A quick-fisted fool with nothing better to do than fight. But fear not. Your valiant lord will meet him in single combat. Your great and powerful master, Torwald the Magnificent, will meet this interloper before the gates. He will ride forth alone and fell him with one blow of his mighty sword. Sir, perhaps I could get into the castle from the rear and... I've no more need of your help. You've cost me three hours already. I did my best, sir. Cedric, as long as I could. That's all right, Brian. Don't worry. Cedric's a good enough fighter to be told. Magnificent, my son. What courage. No fighter in England could have surpassed your deeds this day. This was my inspiration, sir. My dear, I shall be proud to have you as a son-in-law. I should think so, father. He captured the Black Castle single-handed. Now listen to my story, yes, listen while I sing Of days of old in England when Arthur was the king Of Merlin the magician and Guinevere the queen And Lancelot the bravest knight the world has ever seen In days of old, when knights were bold This story told of Lancelot He rode the wilds of England, adventures for the sea to rescue maidens in distress and help the poor and weak. If anyone oppressed you, he'd be your champion. He fought a million battles and he never lost a one. In days of old, when knights were bold, this 
story told of Lancelot. In days of old, when knights were bold, this story told of Lancelot.